Colin Wood and Wayne County get ready for the 2023 high school football season. It's coming up next on Exports Tonight. From the Exports Network, this is Exports Tonight. Welcome to Exports Tonight. I'm Major Good starting things off with high school football right here in Collinwood where the Trojans are getting ready for the 2023 season. The guys in the green and white will be looking for a bounce back year and a trip to the playoffs for the first time in a while. After a disappointing end to 2022, Colin Wood was more than anxious to get back on the field. It's just great. I mean, we, we worked really hard in the offseason, got a lot stronger. Uh, these guys are working really hard, and, and uh, you know, we're really, really excited about what's coming up. The Trojans went 2-8 and eight a season ago, something that has fueled them since the day it ended. Last year, it was a little down year. I mean, two wins wasn't something we wanted. I think this year, we got a lot of potential to win a bunch of football games this year. Every time we play, we want to dominate every four quarters, and we don't want to lay down until the game's over. Collinwood will return the majority of its starters on both sides of the ball, giving them plenty of experience. You know, we got a lot of good kids coming back. Quarterback's back. Uh, you know, our back, uh, Blake Quinton is back. Uh, a lot of linemen back. Uh, most, I think we lost one, you know, uh, uh, had, you know, most of our linemen are back or had a couple, but uh, uh, so we, you know, they're understanding what we're doing. You know, when we're talking about things now, it's easy to change things and tweak a little bit. So, you know, I, I think we're going to be a little bit better in that situation. A new region will await the Trojans in 2023, full of new and old opponents. Well, we're really, you know, you know, trying to get back to where we can be competitive throughout the, you know, the whole district. And, and you know, we can't have these ups and downs. We've got to be consistent and for the whole four quarters and for the season. The playoffs are squarely on this team's mind as they feel they have the means to make it happen. Uh, this year, postseason, I think we can go there. We get there, we need to focus every, every play, every quarter, play like it's your last play. It doesn't matter if you're a senior, it's our last year. We're going to play it every down with heart. Like these young guys, we've told them they need to play with heart too. They look up to us and we need to set an example for them. Coming up next, we head on over to Wayne County where the Wildcats will have a new head coach for 2023. Are you looking for the perfect refrigerator? What about a new stove or washer or dryer? It only makes sense to shop at the one place that specializes in appliances, top to bottom, big or small. And that's Kelly Appliance in Lawrenceburg. Kelly Appliance is home to all major name brands, including LG. LG makes life good with a full selection of refrigerators, cooking appliances, dishwashers, microwaves, and more, including appliances made right here in Tennessee. Family owned and family operated. Stop by Kelly Appliance on Jerry Street in Lawrenceburg today. Like you, our roots are in Lawrence County. Providing banking for every stage of life since 1934, Lawrenceburg Federal Bank has been not just your bank, but also your friend, helping you with home loans, consumer and auto loans, and your everyday personal banking needs. Lawrenceburg Federal offers you a warm smile and personal experience, as well as the conveniences of modern-day online banking, mobile banking, and telebanking. Lawrenceburg Federal Bank, your neighbor and friend, located at 118 West Gaines Street, next to the courthouse. Lawrenceburg Flooring & More is your premier source for hardwood, laminate, luxury vinyl tile, sheet vinyl, residential and commercial carpet, carpet tiles, ceramic and porcelain tile, waterproof floating floor, plus blinds and shutters. Lawrenceburg Flooring & More is also home to all name brands and can tackle projects big and small. Installation? You're covered with installers who've got years of experience and stand behind their work. Let Lawrenceburg Flooring & More make your design dreams a reality. 2760 Highway 43 North or visit LawrenceburgFlooringAndMore.com. Whether you're looking to spruce up the interior or exterior of your home or business, trust Lawrenceburg Glass to provide a one-of-a-kind product. From windows to mirrors, shower doors, custom framing, storefront installations, and everything in between, Lawrenceburg Glass takes pride in our quality craftsmanship and strong attention to detail. With us, your customer experience always exceeds expectations. We're reliable, on time, and we deliver stunning results. Lawrenceburg Glass. Our passion is reflected in our work. From the Exports Network, this is Exports Tonight. Welcome back to X Sports Tonight. Now over to Waynesboro. Well, Wayne County will have a brand new head coach for 2023. He takes over a program heading in the right direction, and he wants to take them to a new level. After going 6-5 and five and making it to the first round of the postseason, Wayne County was excited to get back to practice. It's been good. Uh, it's been pretty intense, fast, moving pretty quick, and uh, got some good work in. 
The Wildcats will have a new head coach in 2023 in Derek Willis. However, he's not new to Waynesboro. I mean, I played for Coach Cruz when he was head coach here. Uh, so, you know, learning from him then and learning from him, you know, on the coaching staff side of it was a huge benefit. And, uh, so I've been here my whole career um, at the junior high level and at the high school level. So um, this is where I'm, where I'm from, where I plan on being. So Willis has had a strong lineage with Wayne County and has been taught by some of the best in the business. There's been a lot of excitement around the kids and, and everybody and uh, a lot of excitement around the program and everything. So I'm, the way I've been explaining it to everybody, I'm kind of excited and a little bit anxious and nervous too, I guess. Uh, you know, guys like Coach Rice and Coach Cruz and Coach Pierce and all those guys, you know, have so much history here and built and you know built so much legacy that, you know, we got to keep that stuff going. So The Wildcats will return a strong group this season, one ready to take the next step. You know, we saw from what we wanted to do last year, we got a little bit of success last year. Um, kids, you know, got to feel the, the winning side of it a little bit more last year. Um, got to feel what it was like to go to the playoffs, but now, you know, he's on the, the, the bad side of it in the playoffs. So, you know, we kind of went on that as kind of our goal for this year. You know, we want to get back to hosting playoff games, um, be, be on the other side of it in those playoff games. Back-to-back -back trips to the playoffs is the goal for 2023, and they would like to play as many as they can on their own home field. Quite a bit higher. Uh, we'd like to host a playoff game and maybe make it to the second round, and I think that'd be it. That does it for X Sports and I have a great evening. We'll see you guys once again tomorrow. This is the X Sports Network.